discounting both those two games and we will fill that in at a later date but we still have a game to go with Juventus and Galatasaray taking on each other here but looking towards the top of that table Monaco are there and they will remain there in this week you would like to think although I'm looking at it that, yeah that'll be it there's, there's no way anybody can catch them in match day two they will be at the top of the table nonetheless by the end of this week but we have another really good game coming up Juventus are a team that we're looking at towards the end of the season to do very very well but they've got a tough game coming up right now against Galatasaray The game against uh, Juventus is going to be tough. We know that uh, the team is very strong. They have uh, very good players, uh, players who won the World Championship. And what we want to do is show our strength so that we're not uh, afraid of anyone and that we will win both games. Of course, this is uh, what we want. We will try to get six points, nothing less. So let's see and let's have a wonderful game. So it will be a difficult match uh, for sure because uh, we know uh, our opponent, uh, they have a very strong defense like all the team and maybe we need to be focused and try to score all chances and try to win the both games. And for a player like Etorito, of course, it's such a winning mentality over his time in eFootball Pro, uh, of course, way back. How many times have we seen him play at a very, very high level? But of course, with this Juventus side, two draws last week, not necessarily the best start for them. They'll be out for blood this week, Harry. Yeah, they will. I, I think when you put into context the, the two draws, like you say, from, from the previous match day, uh, when you consider it's against a team like Bayern München, who, again, we expect to be uh, one of those top-tier teams come the come the end of the season I don't think those are two bad draws you know it's not like you're yeah. dropping points maybe you should have taken away from from the fixture but uh, this is a, a, a potential banana peel for them because uh, as Eterito said Galatasaray very strong defence across all three of the players controlling uh, the Galatasaray squad as we see them here preparing for, for the match um, uh, one of the, the takeaways I took away from, from match day one was um, Stav talking to me about how, you know, we're not just here to take part. We're not here to turn up and, and just, you know, lose every game and maybe snatch a draw here or there. We're here to win every single game in, in the league. And uh, I truly felt that, that they believe that they can do that, which is, uh, I think, very dangerous for any club that comes up against them here. And I would love to see them uh, prove that and, and a great way to do that, like we saw uh, with with Schalke against Bayern München earlier. Obviously, that result won't won't stand now, but it's a great way to send a message to the rest of the eFootball Pro League that you can take down players and, and teams of the calibre of Juventus and, and these types of players. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the Turkish club to bring to the table here as, as we are moments away from kickoff. Not far away now as both two teams get ready to go, of course, in their strips. So I, I have to say, Ju Juventus' is, uh, kit is one of my favourites. And that's not any bias to black and white stripes. Although potentially, Harry, it has to be said. But fantastic <laughs> to see all the, the players in their jerseys. Okay, guys. Nearly cool. ready to get into this game, which should be an interesting one. But I, I think you're right, though. You know, Juventus going up against Bayern München, as you said, last week, two draws. They're a very, very good team. Does that give us a good indication to where these two guys are going to be towards the end of the season? I wonder, but we'll let the players discuss their options here. If he doesn't, we will change it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay, it's on Demiral now. We start like that, then, yeah, let's go. Defensive lead, defensive Shannon. Yeah. Okay. We're set? Yeah. 
Uh, we, we can start, right? Uh... Hopefully they can start, Harry. I would love it for it to start. I'm, I'm eager to get into this game. I, I haven't personally seen Eterizo play in, in quite some time, and I, I'm excited to see what he does with this Juventus team. Yeah, his, his the team he's built around him for for Juventus here is is really really fun to watch. Um, despite Los Gandalo currently being the only registered goal scorer for the team this season, uh, he scored uh, a three last match day against Bayern München. Um, they they are all capable of putting in MVP style performances, and we saw um, that last season, and no doubt we will see that throughout this season as well. Um, of course, the, the Galatasaray gentlemen were just waiting for the words from our, our wonderful referees, of course, Sergio and, and Jesus here to, to get the match started. And as you can see, that's almost ready for kickoff. And, and like I said before, this could be a really tricky game here for, for the Italian club who, of course, go up against Roma next match day. They would love to propel themselves into that one with, with six points under their belt here. Of course, Galatasaray in the red and orange from left to right. The Turkish club, such a passionate support behind them, but no more passionate than Ju Juventus fans. Of course, Juventus in the black and white from right to left. It's going to be interesting to see which way this one goes. I think last week was an indicator that Juventus will, of course, be there. I mentioned two draws against them and they're in for an attack here. Potentially the ball across, not going to quite happen, but a good start from Juventus. Dybala to whip this one in. Oh, is it? I mean, they keep changing. Harry, who's whipping in it? Well, oftentimes you see this is when they're trying to beat the man coming to the front post to block the cross, but that's not the case. The corner comes to nothing. Uh, I want to see big things out of Galatasaray here, Chris, and in particular, I want to see Mucahit really put in a, a decent performance. Obviously, the, the first Turkish player in the youth football pro um, representing his Turkish club here as well. I mean, what a statement it would make again to the rest of the league and, and to your, your two Greek teammates as well to say that, you know what, I'm here playing for passion and I'm, I'm here to score goals. I'm not just here to take part like Stav Attack told me on match day one. Eterito now though. Getting things going with Dybala into Ronaldo. Just Rattori trying to get forward and trying to get on the scoreboard for the first time. Not going to happen here. Yeah, man, it's gone. Juventus... Seem to be the ones pressing the issue. Eterito. The scandal back to Eterito with Dybala. Can't quite turn Galatasaray defend well once again, but 10 minutes gone and uh, we've been camped in the Galatasaray half, but Eterito in the box with Cristiano Ronaldo. That one will be cleared away. Another throw in. We are still in Galatasaray's half. Yeah, this is... One thing that you'll get to know about Galatasaray is that they are so, again, one of those stubborn teams defensively. They will they will drag their heels. They will not make things easy here for Juventus at all. They'll give up a fair amount of territory, but it's on counter-attacks like this that you... Well, you need a bit of quality, and so far that's been lacking from the Turkish club. It's very, very close to being a good ball through to Destructore. And that one will go on. Juventus will be happy with their build-up play so far, but let me try and create something a little bit more clear-cut here. Let's get low with Kiesa now, and McKenny out wide. Well, then the Benson Kerr won't quite find its way there in Dostratori. Can find himself a corner now. Got to be aiming for somebody like Cristiano Ronaldo in the middle, haven't you? Such a big presence in the box. Quadrado will get there to the deflection. Can't quite turn around, but Eteria should be able to, I say, get a hold of that ball. But here we go. Stav attack will get this going down the left-hand side. Can't quite find the pass. Benucci should be able to intercept, but he doesn't even need to. Good defensive work by Milo Scandal or that. Yeah, it's just in those types of counter-attacking situations. You want to see, again, just... Maybe just an easier pass being played. Let your teammates do some of the heavy lifting and just play ball 
balls to the feet rather than trying to overplay it here and there. You can see on, on the club stats, goals scored. Galatasaray themselves, the players have have uh, no registered goal scorer. They have scored a goal, but it was an own goal by Manchester United last week. So, or last match day, I should say. And uh, it's uh, I'm not sure those stats are correct actually, because I, I seem to remember one of the Galatasaray players snatching a goal in in one of the two games that they played. So we'll double check that for you. But um, you would love to see Galatasaray again to sort of open up a little bit. So be interesting to see exactly where Galatasaray lie after this match. I think it's it's a good barometer, isn't it? If they have a decent result here. But it's it's very it's always very hard to say after one week of play where everybody is lying, but that's a good ball through to Cristiano Ronaldo. Surely this is one to zero. What a save that is. You're probably expecting him to go the other way. Left foot across goal. Well, it's a fantastic, fantastic ball. And a good save. <sighs> I know hindsight is a factor here, but I wonder whether or not Il Distratore was was the better option there. Through ball, just cross it along the floor, but it's a corner at least. A scandalo now. Looking for the ball to Etorito. I have a feeling that Il Distratore is offside. Still no goals. About 30 minutes into this game. Kaltasaroy defending relatively well here, Harry. Yeah, it's the, the type of game we expected. Uh, we know Galatasaray are an organised and, and regimented unit, of course. Uh, just getting confirmation in my ear that, yes, in fact, both goals scored by Galatasaray on match day one were, in fact, Manchester United own goals. So uh, thank you to Laura and, and Paige, of course, in the back doing the statistics for the eFootball Pro season. They do great work. They make us look clever. It's, it's, it's a, a tough job, but someone has to do it, Chris. I don't know if they're doing that good of a job if they're making me look clever. I, I haven't, uh, <laughs> I haven't benefited from any of this yet. <laughs> McKenney looking to go forward. It was a little scandal, but the pass is misplaced. Some fight in the middle between Kadira and Diane and that. Benton Kurt trying to get himself back as well. Which way is this one going to go? Lo Scandalo gets it away. Quadrado. Under the control of Edorito will play this one eventually through to Ronaldo. Big challenges coming out from the Galatasaray player. Not allowing uh, Cristiano Ronaldo to get much time in the ball, but the Agni now coming forward. The stab attack who's going to put it across, and it's a huge opportunity for Galatasaray. Out of absolutely nothing. Yeah, that was the moment. Mucha hit. Coming in, the blue marker. Yeah, it's a tricky one, isn't it? The goalkeeper is always going to have the angle it would have taken. A little slotted finish past his feet to get that one past him. But they have a corner though, Galatasaray. First real chance of the game for them. All whipped in. Do they have the physical presence there? Not quite. Destratore can't get it away. And the ball tried to be whipped in, but they're going to get in the way of that one at least. Down there. Oh my goodness, that's a good ball in. The keeper will get there. Who's going to get on the end of it though? And it should be Juventus to clear away, but... We're coming to the end of the first half here and nobody is able to break away and find that goal quite yet. Arguably, Galatasaray have come the closest, but it is Juventus with probably more chances here and more possession, of course. All whipped towards the Agne once again. Keeper should clean this one up very easily. It does so. Chesney will clean this one upfield now. Cristiano Ronaldo has said that physical presence is going to cause issues. Dybala can't quite get there. That seems like a foul, but seems to be possibly a 50-50. Benucci will go back to the keeper and Juventus will reset. Quadrado out wide. Over the pass inside, it is actually going to be a chance here for Dybal. Distratore back to Ronaldo. Oh, it's a good save once again. Now to Rito, can he get that? Juventus in the final minute of added on time. Can he get this one across? It's good skill moves, but that is actually going to be the end of the half. Galatasaray ending the half defending once again, but arguably, as said, did have the best chance of the game so far. Yes. 
and I'm, I'm happy that we saw Galatasaray towards the end of that uh, first half of game one grow into the match a little bit. Let's have a little little listen to what they're saying. Okay, ready. I'm starting. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Next time, uh, someone run inside. You know, be, yeah, be ready. I was, I was staying behind with a Belhanda in order to take the rebound. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Press. Middle. Protect the middle. Into the second half we go then. And can Galatasaray just do a little bit better this time around? Not as much defending, a bit more going forward because they were nearly fortunate to find something there, Harry, in the first half. Just like to maybe see them expand their horizons, if you like. Yeah, as I was saying, it was good to see them sort of grow into the game. Oftentimes we saw on match day one against Manchester United, they never really threatened the goal apart from those own goals that, that United were forced into making, in fairness, by Galatasaray. But... Um, hopefully we see more of that, but Juventus, they, they smell blood, I feel. I feel like they know chances are, are there for them. Oh, it's a huge chance and it's an easy enough goal for Lo Scandalo, the only one who's been putting the ball in the back of the net for Juventus to take this one as well. It's very, very well worked. And the ball across from Ronaldo, it's going to be easily cleaned up and stuck in the back of the net. As we said, Juventus probably deserved that one 1-0 to them now. Yeah, based on the run of play, Juve have done so well. In, and we've seen this uh, goal a hundred times from from uh, Il Distrittore and Eterito as a duo. Now combining with Los Scandalo for the second season in a row. As you said, the only goal scorer registered right now for Juventus. That's his fourth of the season. And, uh, well, hopefully that will change at the end of the match day. Uh, hopefully we'll see some, some more goals. But... Not for Galatasaray's sake, at the very least. Um, good goal from Juventus, and now hopefully that will open the game up a little bit here for Galatasaray. Oh, maybe an opportunity immediately. Oh, and Nelly bounced through into the middle towards Stav attack there. There's just so many bodies on the floor in the end of that challenge. Not quite sure how that happened, but... <laughs> I think Jabrilliant took out about three different players with that one tackle. Paul forward now from Eterito. Easily intercepted, yeah. Stab attack now into Musha. He needs, can he find the ball in? Not quite. Eterito will hopefully get this one away for his Juventus teammates now as McKenny starts to strike his legs. Chiesa. Back to Eterito controlling Dybal. Uh, can Ronaldo get there? Oh no, if he doesn't, it will be Dybal at two and he doesn't miss from there. And there has to be some disappointment from Galatasaray. You can hear them saying, we thought, come on, let's get it clear. They didn't in time. Ronaldo's on it. All of a sudden, Dybala is through. It's 2-0 to zero to Juventus. Yeah, there it is. Eterito. Uh, by my money, it's his first goal of the season. We, we did see him credited with uh, the first goal. But for me, that one was, was Los Scandalos all day. I know you saw it the same, but we'll get confirmation. Uh, this one is certainly Eterito's goal. Uh, fantastically done. Once again, a bit of fortune and it just sort of ping-pongs around, doesn't it? Il Distratore with the tackle that makes the chance available to the two-time world champion Eterito. And he officially opens his account for the season. First goal for Juve. And now, well, no doubt there will be a wave of changes for both clubs here. Some changes though, potential issues here for the teams, but the event is looking very good here. Yeah, Take a look at the front line of Galatasaray on the left-hand side of your screens and, and now the right as well. The four 
strikers obviously with a with a winger sprinkled in there on the left hand side but I think that's a clear intent by the okay, Turkish we'll club. Defense, then. We'll see a bit more. Okay, let's go. Uh, yes, now go. Well, here we go then. Yes, now go. Let's go into the game once again. 2-0 to, to Juventus now and 30 minutes left of play of in-game time I should say and Juventus looking comfortable here and well, well it looked even more comfortable and Cristiano Ronaldo got a hold of that one Taglian now out wide to Diagne I'll tell you what there's a ball in here potentially on the cards it was a good ball by Jabrillian but the Juventus defenders will get there just about in time Stavitra trying to get something going foul by well, this Trattori. And all of a sudden Galatasaray have a decent enough free kick. Not a bad position to dink this one into one of the big men in the middle. Diagne is there. It's a good knock on. Fantastic goal by Galatasaray. My goodness. Let's go. It's flicked on and it's stuck straight to the back of the net. El Tassarai got to be happy with that and they have half the deficit here, 2-1. Yeah, you called it perfectly. This, this kind of free kick is perfect to just lump it into a big man. And they just could not track the runner. It's too brilliant, I believe. The first goal scorer of the season officially for, for Galatasaray. Former rest of the world champion of Pez League. Joins, of course, Stavatakas. One of only two Greek players to feature in eFootball Pro this season. He's on the score sheet and well, the complexion of this second half now has, has completely changed and Juventus might have to rethink some things defensively. Oh, do they just continue to try and attack, find a third goal and potentially kill this game off? I'm seeing the disappointment on the Juventus players' faces. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, guys. Careful, kick off. Still time, focus. You did say, oh, you did hear, I should say, from the Galatasaray players, a lot of time, and there is still a good 25 minutes of in game time to go. No, oh, both the, the uh, Juventus players leaving it there, but that's how it would look after the game's played, of course. As mentioned, Schalke and Bayern will. Figure that one out, but I tell you what, Galatasaray maybe with another chance here. This one is going to be cleared by Juventus. They may well get there to the second ball, not quite. Going chasing by Esarito, but Juventus far from convincing here in this game so far. Yes, you just feel like the next goal might decide the fate of this game, don't you? As, as Galatasaray are in the ascendancy here. And uh, unfortunately, that one's going to be offside, but there are. A couple of uh, gaps and uh, some some frailties at the back for Juventus. They're, they're just playing three defenders. So they need to be very wa wary of the, the four attackers that, that Galatasaray have at their disposal. So a bit of a mismatch and, and outnumbered at the back are Juventus. But they're banking on their attacking prowess here in this second half. No, I don't think Lusganlo was ever going to get to that one. 20 in-game minutes remaining. Galatasaray either switch things up here and snatch a goal to get this all tied up. Or can Juventus hold on or maybe even find another one to seal this game? To put a pass from Edorito, maybe rush just a little bit, but Escandalo will get that in time. Edorito can't quite get a hold of it though. This one will be cleaned up here by Stavitak. Mushahid now forward to Jabrillian. Still, opportunities are going to fall Galatasaray's way. 15 minutes to go. A good bit of ter territory here for Galatasaray to enjoy. Still a chance here. That one's whipped in, but straight into Chesney's hands. And Ed Arito will probably keep a hold of this one, or will he just lump it forward to the big man up top? Not necessarily accurate enough to get to Ronaldo, but it may do so at the second or third time of asking. 
And Arito has just actually put Il Distratore in a little bit of trouble there. But Benson Kirk, good pass. Weston McKenney outside now. Couldn't quite get there. It's a Rito will send it forward. It's been scrappy in the second half. There's a couple of men over here for Galatasaray. They have to be careful. Good defending by Etorito once again. But I tell you what, Galatasaray looked the more likely so far. Harry has changed about to come through once again. Yeah, no, no doubt uh, this is going to be defensive changes coming in for, for Juve as they like to try and protect this result. I mean, they've, they've had to fight for it. Uh, but they're only 10 in-game minutes away. Galatasaray, they need a goal here. Be confident, be confident. Let's go. Let's, let's play our game. Go. They're going full de defensive. It's, yeah. it's logic. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's make them pay. Let's make them pay. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Let's make them pay, say the Galatasaray players. And can they? Juventus, as mentioned, have went very, very defensive. But, necessary evil. Two to one up, 82 minutes. You have to sit back. Absolutely has to be the case. But what can Galatasaray do to try and get something going here? It's a big physical backline on the Juventus side, and they have pace to break with as well. Benton Kerr, if you can find this pass through, this is danger. Il Distratore is going to send it to Rito, who has the legs. Could this be three? Oh my goodness, and maybe just a little bit too much by the Juventus side. I'd like to see Etorito just hit it. Lump forward, though. Cole is going to get a hold of this one for Galatasaray. I tell you what, it's a beautiful ball through the can. And can he get there? Oh, it's on the win by Galatasaray! How on earth has that got through? And after that huge, huge chance at the other side of the pitch, Galatasaray run up the other end. It's not beautiful football by any stretch of the imagination, but they will take it. 2-2. Two -two. Well, we have another goal scorer now for Galatasaray. And I believe it's Stavatak. He's in the right place at the right time. He does, as all good strikers should, follow the ball into the goal. Because mistakes like this might happen. It was a great pass, actually, to cut two defenders and the goalkeeper out. And look at what it means. She's brilliant on the right-hand side. Well, I feel for his neighbours, Chris, because they have just got on a rude awakening there if they were taking a siesta. What a, what, what a result this would be for Galatasaray. They could go on to win it. My goodness me. I thought it was loud in my house at the moment. It's your boat or Galatasaray's boat? 2-2 yeah, okay. two, two now. And you have to say... That two, chance two. that just felt the event is to make it 3-1. A huge moment in this game. 87th minute. We go again. Does this game have any more twists and turns? Can we even see a Galatasaray winner? Stab attack down this left hand side now. He's got runners here. Musa eat now to whip this one in. I'll tell you what, Harry. <laughs> They're going for it. They are going for it. Four minutes to go. It's now Juventus' turn to come forward, and they have men here. Morata can't break through. Galatasaray lump it forward. Benucci needs to win the tenor and has done it to Rito. Had to be good there. Il Distratore is going to put it forward to Lo Scandalo. It's Rito in towards Ronaldo. Which way is this one going to go? And it's going to be cleared out. Is that going to be time or Juventus going to be able to throw this into the box? It's towards Cristiano Ronaldo. McKenney now with Etorito. With Scandalo. This one's going to be cleared by Calatasaray. Surely that is the end. Yes, it is. Two apiece in game number one. And both two teams will share the spoils. What a game. Galatasaray are good for that point. I tell you that, Harry. You're not wrong. And Juventus are finding out, like Manchester United found out on match day one, that this Galatasaray team are... They are a prickly customer. They do not just 
roll over and show their bellies. They fight for every single goal and every single opportunity here in the eFootball Pro. It's, again, just a testament to this Turkish club's mentality. Like you said at the start of the match, so many passionate fans around the world and well, they've made them proud with that result against Juventus there from 2-0 down to 2-2. It's the the two Greek players, Gibrilian and Stavatak, after the first game of this two-game series, making their presence known. And game two is about to be a barn burner. It really has set us up very, very nicely for game number two. Galatasaray, for all that they defended in the first half, I mean, this opportunity here showed they had threat. But it has to be said, Juventus had the chance. They had the chance to absolutely seal the deal. Not this one specifically, but just before Galatasaray went up the other end and scored the goal to draw things up. This was the first one from Juventus and the second one came soon after as well. Just a good run from La Scandola with Cristiano Ronaldo and it's an easy enough conversion. The second one coming shortly as well but it's that huge opportunity for Eterito to make it 3-1. to one. It doesn't get converted. Galatasaray come back. What a game. And there's the second for Eterigo, which did actually come from a Galatasaray mistake, Harry. It did. And and when they look back on game one after after no doubt uh the the post-mortem analysis of match day two begins, I th I think they might brew that that unfortunate rebound that, that comes back to the two-time world champion. Um you see it there, it's just bouncing around everywhere. It has a chance to be cleared again. It's Il Distratore who pokes it into Eterito. And, and time and time again, he's always going to find pay dirt in that kind of situation. But from here on in, it's, it's a turning point, isn't it, from Galatasaray. They, they know what they can do with their big men and they know what's possible when they come together as a collective. And, and with that goal comes belief. And they... They stuck it out right until the end, and it's all about playing to to your weapons and, and your advantages. We know some of the big players that you have up front from from Galatasaray, like Dienye, and obviously other players as well. This is a, a real chance where you just expect maybe uh, Il Distratore to go for goal rather than to try and cut it back from that angle. But and then this happens, stab attack. And you can just hear, you can hear what it means to do brilliant and the boys. It's it's great to see that kind of emotion. And although we're not in the eFootball Pro studios, I I feel like I, I heard you brilliant all the way from Loughborough here in the UK. It wasn't through your headset, just across the globe, of course. <laughs> My word, what a game number one. And then the game number two, we will go up very, very shortly. Teams are nearly ready for the very final game of match day number two yet. Yeah. What a day it's been. Results we didn't expect. That one that we've just seen probably about just included with that as well. Seen some fantastic goals, seen some good defensive work, some good attacking work, and just an all round great day. Yeah. Like On the eFootball Pro season. A little bit more up, it's okay. More up. Balhada-Balhada-CMF-Oreyemf? Okay, uh, same, same instructions, yeah? All out yeah, times, yeah. yes, yes. Uh, line six or seven, line? Uh, line uh, six. Uh, put put uh, man marking on Bonucci from the start. Okay, uh, defense. 
Defensive on Elmas, what do you say? Uh, what did we do with this formation? Did we always uh, put for defensive on Elmas? No. no. So no. Uh, guys, we can also put uh, man marking on a table on uh, on McKenney. No, he will stick on the side. We need uh, compactness on the middle. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's let's keep it. Let's keep it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one sec. Don't start. Uh, can we start? Players asking if they can start this game. I'm keen to get into it here, Harry. A lot of discussion going on, though. Yeah, one of the main things that I picked up on is when they were asking whether or not man marking should be on, on McKenney. And Stav Attack saying, no, he hangs out wide. We need to be stout and, and organized in the middle. We need to be very robust because that's where Juve like to try and make you pay with the little one twos inside and in and around the box. It's where you're. You're always going to try and find that cut back if you're Eterito when you get to the byline. So if you make it nice and compact in the middle of the pitch, it makes it that much more difficult for that to happen. And I think it's the right call here as well. It's nice to see the Galatasaray players working together and, and hear them communicating about which, which tactics they want to employ here. It's a real team effort from the Turkish club. And now I think most of the eyes will be on Juventus here. I think the rest of the league are going to look at them and say, well, you only have two points after match day one. You're now on three points after drawing to Galatasaray. When are you going to start picking up points in this league? And with players like Eterito and Ildis Trattore on, on, the, on the squad, you, you fully expect them to start picking up points sooner rather than later. Absolutely. You really do. You would expect them to be near the top and starting to fight for things. But the fact that they got pinned back there after what was really should have been a comfortable game. They were 2-0 to zero up, they could have been 3-1 to one up. And that Galatasaray back into the game, but all credit to Galatasaray for never stopping, never giving up. But Juventus, when they do hit that potential form, are a very dangerous prospect. And here we go once again, look at this movement. Fantastic passing from the Juventus side, but can't quite break through. Scandal up, maybe potentially look for to Stratore out wide. Not going to happen. It will be a goal kick to Galatasaray. Yeah, fully expect to see Juventus here really try and get as, uh, as many goals as they possibly can here just to, to keep Galatasaray at that kind of arm's length uh, that we, you know, we think Juventus need to keep them at to, to stop them potentially coming back. They've already proven in game one that they're, they're capable of coming back from a two-goal margin. You want to see three-plus goals here from Juve. Otherwise, Galatasaray are always going to be in with a shot. Oh, it's so well worked. It's just so well worked by Juventus. We're chatting through and it just it happened so quickly. The ball breaks through, the through ball comes in. And it's another goal for the Juventus side. Dybala, who just about finishes it off in the end, and I think it's Il Distratore. It's Eterito. Inch perfect ball, and it's just that little fake to the other side. Onto Dybala's right foot. Unexpected to say the least, and Juventus get their lead. Yeah, well done, Il Distratore. Like you said, the turn inside. Mujahit was trying to cover the, the side he thought that Il Distratore was going to. He turned the other way with Dybala. And he opens his account for the season. And a goal at the other end as well. My goodness, it's back and forth here. It's just coming out of nothing. Out of absolutely nothing for Galatasaray. And what is going on at the back for Juventus? Well, I'll tell you who won't care. It's that man in the middle right there, Mucha hit. What a moment for that young man. The Turkish captain of Galatasaray scoring his first goal for the club to equalise. Uh, just like we said moments previous, you know, as long as you're within two goals of Galatasaray, you are never, ever safe. And this one might just turn into a straight shootout here. Oh, it's Astor, I just do not know when to, to roll over. <laughs> do they? It's phenomenal from them. 
And I'll tell you what, they're on the attack here as well. Jabrillion looking for the ball inside. Can't quite find it. Ball going to be played in from snap attack. It's just every time Galatasaray do actually get forward, they look so threatening. Ball's lumped in. Delict will get there. Courtesy of Etorito. Should be able to get there with Quadrado at least disrupt this attack but I tell you what he hasn't been able to do either which a heat now can't find it can't find the pass through but it will be a corner cover in the front post if you are Juventus but it's whipped in the middle oh stab attack's not going to get there either is he it's going to be Lo Scandalo Nil Distratore with Cristiano Ronaldo Katira now moving forward he's got options on his right as well here comes Il Distratore. What a ball that is into Etorito. Cristiano Ronaldo can't get it out his feet. Lo Scandalo forward. Distratore now into Lo Scandalo with tight ball. I can't turn. Good defending by Galatasaray. Yeah, good defending. I think it was Mucha here who just muscled Dybala. He did enough. He tried to shield the ball with the turn, did Lo Scandalo, but Mucha hit. Comes across. Benson Kerr out wide to Quadrado. Dybala looking to find the ball in there. Etorito trying to dictate things as best as he can. McKenney trying to get there too. But Etorito controlling once again. Kadira forward. It's actually going to be a Le Scandal to play in Etorito and the pick up. Oh my god! Huh? How is that not gone in? Benton Kerr, surely they can put. I, Harry, I'm lost for words. I have no idea how Galatasaray keep that ball out of the net there. That is. That is route one defending. I don't even know if that's a thing, but I'm coining the term. They've just thrown everything at the ball there and made sure that it's not gone in. And Juve must be thinking what they have to do to score. Oh, and the header in is eventually converted. Il Distrattore will get the overhead kick with Cristiano Ronaldo, but I think he could have put that in any which way in the position he was in. But in fairness, <laughs> to Juventus, that has to go in. The chance they had previous. How that hasn't gone in, I don't know. But in the end, they get it done. It's going to be an overhead kick from Cristiano Ronaldo. The trademark celebration comes on through. My goodness. Juventus you eventually get... There. Yeah, I, I do. But at the same time, how have Juventus not scored previous? <laughs> I uh, just heard a bunch of buttons spamming from the corner to make sure that the ball was cleared and then it just falls to that man there, Il Distratore. Second goal of the season for him now. Good opportunity here once again for Galatasaray. The shot comes off from Stavitak. Jabrillion on the ball now as well. Oh, it's actually going to make its way back through. It's another chance in this game which has been so far sensational. <laughs> it's got to be one they got to do better with Galatasaray it's a brilliant maybe just rushed it a little bit yeah if he finds the target there makes the keeper work maybe then it could have caused Juve all kinds of problems it was El uh, excuse me Etorito uh, who was just left at sea there with that cross and it found sheer brilliant oh, I mean it's just a, it's just such an easy opportunity for Juventus to take it's so, so easy. And they seem to just be cutting with lethal precision in this game. 3-1 to one now. And Galatasaray are going to look back at that opportunity. They just had their hurry and they're going to be disappointed. Because on the other side of things, it just went up. Oh, it's just so easy. Look at this. Out wide. Dostratori to Entorito. Into Los Scandalo. Too much room, too much space. And maybe too much for Galatasaray to do now. 3-1. Yeah, I think Galatasaray just got their wires crossed there. They've been so organised defensively so far in this in this two-game series. 
There's the confirmation of the 3-1 for Juventus now. But uh, two players going out wide to, to find Il Distratore. He takes them out of the game with a simple inside pass. And then from there, you know, uh, Torito is going to find his teammate. Galatasaray going to have to send a lot forward now. And then Kerr will get in the way as well. Good touch from Los Scandalo with Dybal. I need to turn around, need support. Eterito, has he found Lutz Gundlow on side? It looks that way. Kiesa skips inside, looking for a shot. Can't quite get it off, and that will be cleared away. Backs to the wall for Galatasaray here as we close out the, second, the first half, I should say. Kadira forward to Benson Kurtz. Good football once again by the Italians. Can't quite get it through. A lot more clinical in this game. Juventus have been... Now it's going to be 3 to 1 at the half, Harry. Yeah, 3 1. If you're Galatasaray, yeah, you can say that you can come back from a two goal deficit. You've proved that in the first game, but you, you obviously, goes without saying, Chris, you don't want to let any more goals in. I mean, that, that's got to be priority number one. There was a, a defensive miscommunication that led to that third goal. That can't happen anymore. You have to be regimented from here on out and then you've got to find your, your two goals changes the foot and Galatasaray have to go full send defense don't stay away from them let's go really? but uh, yeah really really backwards backwards for no reason let's yeah go. that's that's what i said why are you running back and be careful of the runs. Now with Tessera, we were really vulnerable and lucky. Yeah, you can see run, the run forward, you know. With every defender, you know, cover, well, I, cover was, I was running there with a defensive midfielder. No reason to go with a defender. Again, Marco and Bonucci. Change players uh, faster in order to cover and press. El Mas there would be crucial to cut the let's ball. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Better, better in defense. Stay close. Let's go. We can. We know we can. Come, guys. Come back. Well, I think we can come back here, Harry. They've done it from two down before. Do we think it's possible with the way that Juventus are playing this time round, though? I think it's going to be very, very difficult. There, attack is starting to heat up. You can see the. The gears are starting to be oiled now and they're moving up through them as well. And, uh, well, we have a pause here. I'm not sure if it's tactical or, or a technical pause, but um, Juve's attack has been nothing short of impressive so far in this second game. We were, we were very, I don't want to okay. say critical of them, but we were certainly pulse. singing okay. the praises of Galatasaray oh, okay. uh, in the first game. But we have to give credit to the Italian giants oh, here. They've been ruthless. And it's going to be very difficult for Galatasaray to come back. A replay of that second goal. Cristiano Ronaldo. And that's what put Juventus on course. Potentially winning this game. Quite enough for Galatasaray as well. Not all you can do with that corner. Whipped in in such a dangerous area. And... Yeah, Ronaldo's even already attempting the bicycle kick before he's even on his way to him. <laughs> I think, you know, on the other side of things, Dybal is unfortunately not put it away. Free kick now to Juventus. Oscar Mo is going to be the one to whip it in towards Cristiano Ronaldo. Who else? Eterito, what can he do with it? They'll destroy it for... Just another ball whipped into the area. Galatasaray can't deal with it. And Juventus find themselves 4-1 up. That should be game set and match, Harry. Well, now the question is, how many goals can you get, Juve? Eterito turned provider this time around. Il Distratore, once again, he's in some fine goal-scoring form here. I'm uh, quite surprised. Cristiano Ronaldo not found offside there. He had a quick look at the linesman as we saw there on the replay, but he's kept his flag down and Il Distratore has kept his nerve. 4-1 and a bundle of goals for Luca Tubelli here today. be surprising now if 
Galatasaray find a way back into this one. I think damage limitation maybe isn't a bad shout. And goal difference, etc. can potentially come into it. Three goals for Il Distratore today with one assist. Fantastic from him. Here we go. Can Galatasaray find a way back into it? Mr. Heat now inside. It's a really good goal. Stab attack. We'll take that one. And Galatasaray have got that in their locker. A fantastic goal. 42. It has to be said. Defensive resilience and defensive play. Going forward, at times they look very dangerous. Well, that is a goal that makes Juventus sit up and take notice a little bit, right? As we're talking about maybe being a foregone conclusion. It's uh, stab attack, I believe, to, to poke this one home. And uh, they, they know they've got a long way to go here. It's Galatasaray. But stranger things have happened. Only two more goals to go. Plenty of goals in this game. Can Juventus find another one to maybe just about kill the game off? Oh, why? It's Stab Attack. Not going to get that. Distratore, uh, sorry. We'll clean this one away. Torito was there to pick up and back to Distratore. Really well played. The scandal out wide. And Torito looking for the pass inside. Can't quite find it. He has really orchestrated the attack, has Ed Arito. He's been at the heart of most of it. No surprise to see that, of course. Ronaldo now with Ed Arito and the scandal up with a bit of room into the Trattore. Looking for Ed Arito as well, not quite able to find it. Oh, yeah, Juventus will clear away. Galatasaray threatened the counter-attack, but it's just such a difficult position for Galatasaray to be in. We just saw a glimpse of the, the goal scorers table, the leading goal scorers of the season so far. Good to see Los Scandalo creeping up on the top three. Had a bit of patchy goal scoring form last season. Hopefully he can keep the consistency. I still believe that uh, Feguli should go in. Not sadly. Instead of, instead of Akturko. Okay, yeah. right, right winger, yeah? Yes, to the other side. Okay. We don't have another round. This is it. Let's go. Yeah. Try to score two goals and we will see. Do you want to put Gugan, Gagan press? No, I'll go attacking. It's, okay. Uh, Gagan is unnecessary. Remember to tackle a little bit. Tackle, don't be afraid. Yeah, yes, slide in the midfield to cut the yes. attacks. Let's go. Cut through passing go. lanes, yeah. Quick forward if you can. Galatas right. need to get a quick forward, as they said. They need to get it going now. Still only a two goal deficit, and we've seen them score two goals relatively late on against the Juventus side. It would be something if they come back from 4 1 down. No, but this may be dangerous moments here as Juventus start moving forward. Torito can't find the pass. Donk will get this one away. Stab attack moving this one forward. And now, Michel Heat now out to Jabrilliant. And he's skipped by. There's men in the box here as well. If you can find this pass, it's straight to the keeper. A disappointing moment, Harry. Yeah, it is. I always like to see players try and fire it in with a bit of venom in that kind of situation, but it's right at the keeper. A uh, bit more pace, you make the keeper work and, and maybe something dangerous comes of it, but in the end it was it was pretty tame, wasn't it, considering the situation for Galatasaray. 20 minutes of in-game time remaining. It's felt like a very long two games between these two because we've had so many goals. Play it away, Juventus. Backs to the wall a little bit here, it feels. It's still. Not quite a mountain to climb for Galatasaray, but a decent sized hill, Harry. <laughs> a decent sized hill indeed. Um, obviously, time becomes a factor at this point. Only 15 in game minutes for them to find two. Uh, so Juve might start playing towards that, maybe go towards the corner a little bit more. And no doubt that's where they're headed here. <laughs> Cleared away. Out of play. 
Galatasaray oh, need a goal pretty shortly. It's a long forward. That's not going to find a lot. And Juventus will quite happily take this ball. I'm not quite sure why they've rushed it forward. All the time in the world to pass it back to your keeper there. Maybe they do want another goal just to make sure. Ball through. Can't quite be found. And it's just going to be cleared away by El Distratore. He receives it once again. It's out wide. Now to Torito. There's a few men over here for Juventus. This could kill it off. The ball inside. El Distratore. It's good defended by Galatasaray. 80 minutes on the clock now. And time is just running out for Galatasaray to try and catch back up here. And Juventus, every time they go forward, are going to have men over. Ball to be whipped in. It's at the front post once again. It's Galanda. Kadira's feet looking for the pass inside. And Deshi's going to get there for the scandal. And is he going to land at anybody's feet in the box? Galatasaray oh, surviving now. Juventus putting the pressure on. Oh, that's going to be a foul by Turan, and that's surely going to be a free kick taking its time. Yeah, unfortunately for Galatasaray, this ball at the wrong end of the pitch, and they are on the wrong end of this scoreline. And certainly on the wrong side of the, the time remaining as well. Kenny whipping the ball in, Ronaldo and may fall to Etorito, that's going to go out for another corner. Juventus really putting the pressure on and better having the ball here than in your own half and having to defend it. Sitting back, didn't work out for them last time round and Galatasaray, let's make them pay for it, they did. Juventus not leaving it the chance now. Towards the back post and this may be a counter-attacking opportunity here. Senegal foul there. I tell you what, that's a really, really good ball. He's just about offside, though. The event this look like they're going to hold on this time round. It's either been level or Juventus in the lead. Now, the Tassarai really have fought from behind every single time, but 86 minutes now, two goals needed. Not quite impossible, but very improbable, Harry. It's a good ball out, Mujahid now, can he get there? Not quite, Juventus just shut the door every single time. Galatasaray trying to get something going, but look at the man behind the ball for Juventus. Just so easy for him to defend. You can hear the call for where's the pass, where's the man to help him out. No scandal on out. Cuts back inside with Benedeshi. Goes with a shot in the bottom left corner. Can't quite find it. <laughs> Not surprised Los Gandalo goes for it alone here. I mean, he's the one that set up this chance incredibly well. Yeah, you have a Torito there wide open with Murata waiting in the middle. But at this point, the game's gone away from Galatasaray. You've done so well defensively if you're Los Gandalo. Why not go, go coast to coast, so to speak, steal the ball away and then and then try and score a goal up the other end, but this will do it, I think, for Juve. They've, they've weathered the Galatasaray storm, and despite a draw in the first game, they have held their lead and held their nerve here, Chris, and to Galatasaray. I think they've, they've proven to everyone here that they've come to play and that they are going to be a difficult matchup for every club here in the eFootball Pro this season. Absolutely, but ultimately Juventus do get the job done in that second game. A good performance from them, much better, much more clinical than the first game. But Galatasaray will be disappointed. There's some goals there that, you know, come down to scramble, come down to a couple of little mistakes here and there. But I think, you know, Galatasaray will be probably not too displeased with that performance. And I, you know, I think, you know, if you're Juventus in this one, your question in that first game, you were in a comfortable position. Galatasaray were allowed to come back into it. Yeah, they seemed a little rattled, didn't they, in, in the first game. Again, another of our final two series of today where we've seen 10 goals across the two games, which is uh, which is pretty incredible to see. Um, but Juventus coming out with the lion's share of the points. But, but yeah, maybe, maybe some questions being asked at the Juve camp. You know, what really happened in that first game? 
We'll take a look at the highlights for from the second as they they ran out eventual 4-2 victors. They'll take four points for their troubles as well, Chris. But, but you're right in saying that it felt like such a long time, like you said, uh, uh, because we saw so many goals. I mean, uh, six goals between the two clubs. We also, <laughs> there was a moment during the game um, where, where I looked at the clock and it was only half time rapidly approaching and it felt like we'd, we'd already played two halves of football. So uh, a really cracking game between these two clubs and and uh, Galatasaray again, I, uh, I'm not sure they'll be happy with just the one point. They, they spoke to me on match day one and they said that they're not here just to get the odd point here or there. They're here to, to win matches and, and try and score some some good goals along the way there was that crazy goal line scramble where somehow Galatasaray survived but unfortunately the resulting corner despite the, the spamming of the of the clearance button by the Galatasaray players found its way to the back of the net anyway Juventus eventually get it done in game number two but Galatasaray really did fight very very well Harry you got a chance to speak to them now yeah, let's talk to uh, my man Stav Attack. Stav, um, we got you some some goals today, at least another point on the board for Galatasaray. Talk me through those two games. I, I imagine you and the boys are, are a bit disappointed after that last game. Uh, yes, the games were a little bit difficult, and uh, I think that on the first game we should uh, start with a different formation. But uh, we started with a 4-3-3, which uh, we changed it during the game, and we managed to, make, to take the point. On the second game, um, there was uh, another difficulty. Um, we were back in the score. We tried to make a comeback. And while we were pressing, we considered another one. So um, I think but with the general idea of the game, uh, we could take more from this. And this is what I can promise to Galatasaray's fans that uh, we will come back stronger to the next uh, match day. Well, speaking of the next match day, Stav, you guys play Schalke Nulfia next. Um, tell me how you feel about that matchup. Obviously, that, that's going to be a match that you want the maximum points from, right? Um, I think there is not a match that you can say that you need the maximum points from. All the games you need the maximum points from because it's uh, it's a marathon, uh, it's a league. So you need to take everything you can take from every single uh, match day. So with Salke, we will go again to take uh, six points, to try to get six points. Um, uh, and we're really excited to have so close these match days in order not to lose our consideration and uh, to be focused in order to try and get what we deserve, because I think that we deserve more than we saw it until now. All right, Stav, thanks so much. It's a marathon, not a sprint. I think you, you summed it up perfectly there, my friend. Uh, thanks for the time, and we'll see you again on Match Day 3. Thank you very much, Harry. So there we go. Um, again, the sense I get there from, from Stav Attack that he's he's not completely happy, but just like that, we have uh, Etorito on my screen. Hey, Ettore. Um, Hey. Congratulations on the four points today. Um, how do you feel that game went, those two games went between you and Galatasaray there? So, uh, we're happy because we finally get the first win of the league after <laughs> the first two draw. <laughs> the first match was totally in control uh, for us, but uh, with a free kick 2-1 uh, and we received the last goal in the last minute. So maybe we are a little bit disappointed and lucky in the first match. But the second one, uh, we start aggressive with a uh, score of four goals. So we are happy for this and we are ready for the next match day. Well, there you go. Speaking of the next match day, a huge, huge Italian uh, matchup for you, an all Italian affair, you versus AS Roma. How do you feel that that match is going to go on match day three? It will be a very great game because uh, in real football to Roma and Juventus it's really good game in the league. So we try to, to win both games and become first in the league and because it's what we want and nothing. We try to be aggressive like the second game and try to win our game. Awesome stuff, uh, Eterito. Congratulations on the four points today. Of course, Los Scandalo and Ildis Rotore as well. Uh, good to see you all chiming in with goals today. We'll speak to you again on match day three. 
So there we go, Chris. Uh, Juventus with the four points. And uh, it's yeah. like Torre said, they, they want to take maximum points away from every single game. And uh, they'll be looking to do that again against AS Roma on match day three. Yeah, I think disappointment on both sides of things. Obviously, got Tassarai not coming off as well as Juventus did, but Juventus, obviously, that first result will probably hurt them a little bit after being in control, as Atore said. But that is going to close things out. Let's have a review of the day. Let's have a look back at some of the results that we have seen throughout today. Of course, uh, Schalke and Bayern München will figure out what's going on there. Please do keep an eye on social media channels to um, find out what the result is going to be of that one and we will find out at a later date. However, the rest of the games, Harry, it's been a fantastic day with lots of goals this week as well. Yeah, we always come off the end of a match day when we do these recaps and, and you look back at some of the matches and you think, wow, the, we, we had some incredible action here today. Uh, the first match of the day, of course, was Barcelona versus Arsenal. It says match two there, but of course, match one is it has been postponed. Um, the prediction campaign obviously thought Barcelona would win that nine times out of ten. Uh, unfortunately, it's the, for Barcelona fans, three points apiece. Uh, tremendous game between those two clubs. They